Hey everyone, it's Tracking Pat, and today's basic video is going to be on how to do a face mill event on a three axis DPM mill. We're using the DPM SX3 with the SX controller. And the first thing I'm going to do is make my program. I've already got my zero set as my upper left hand corner, and I'm using a block of aluminum that's five by five. Okay, so when I go to the control, hit the mode key. I'm going to make a program. I'm going to skip the first page. We all know how to use that and put a name in there by now. So I'm just going to go to the beginning and I'm going to select pocket. The face mill event is inside the pockets. When I select face mill, the first thing you're going to notice before I program anything is that by the help key is a question mark. And when I push the help key, it's asking me what the percentage of step over I want to use when I'm face milling. I've got a one inch end mill in here just to keep it simple, but you'll notice whoever used this last has the default set at 30%. So I'm going to change that to 95% because I know that it'll still clear it off with that, okay? It's going to create a serpentine that works like a Z back and forth till it wipes it out. So now it's asking me what's the size of the surface. So I'm going to start out with zero, zero as my one corner and then five inches and negative five is my other. I'm gonna use a 50 thousandths rapid and I'm cutting this to create Z0. So I'm gonna to go to Z0. All right, number of passes is gonna be one. I don't need a finish cut. And I'm just gonna put this at 2000 RPM and put my feed rates, something reasonable, right? Like 20 inches a minute, use tool number one. Okay, I've already set up the tool like I said. So in this case, I'm already ready to look at this and see how it's gonna go. First, I'm going to push look. All you're going to see is a square, but I think it's important for you to also see that if I look at the tool path, you can actually see the surface and how the tool path is going to work. Okay, so it'll start off the part in the beginning when it comes down in Z, comes to Z0, and then it's going to serpentine throughout the whole entire part. Okay, so we're ready to go, right? So I'm going to hit the mode key one more time, go to run mode and push start. And again, we've always got tracking if we need it. In this case, I know we don't. Okay, so I could skip it in this case, so I'm just going to hit go. All right, so hit the go button. It tells me load the first tool, turn the spindle on, all the stuff we're used to. Okay, and then I'm ready here, so I'm just going to push go. All right. So notice that even though we're only using a one inch cutter with a 95% step over, it knows enough from the five by five to make sure that it covers every square inch of the top of this part as it goes back and forth. And there you have it. So now we got a nice flat surface. We're ready to go on to our next video and show our next how-to. I hope this was helpful to you.